Okay, so we're about to start stringing a fence together in this pasture below the dairy barn, the old dairy pasture, but in reduced size. Uh, we're gonna start, it's about 68 degrees right now. It's probably gonna warm up to about 80 midday, and uh, hopefully we can get it all done today, if not tomorrow. Here's the outlet for the milk house. You can actually kind of see that there's water dripping in it still. How it's kind of white down there, it's because the, the milk's been draining out of the milk house and it's been pooling down here. Before we started the milk calves, this was complete grass, but the water has kind of flooded it back out and is reclaiming the ditch. So I got the wire roller here, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wrap around this wire around that post, and I'm, to, I'm gonna take it to the post down there, so that way we have a straight line where we can start pounding our posts in. So that way the fence is straight. Now, since the cattle are gonna be over here, we're gonna have the wire wrapped around this way, so that way it's facing inward toward the cattle. And I'm not exactly sure how high we'll want it, so for now, I think I'm just gonna wrap it right around here. Now it's just a long walk. So this is where the fence is gonna be running. It's not right up to the corn, but who knows, maybe next year we could come through and bring the corn down a little bit.
Okay, this one. Choker in. Here you go. We got all the wood and T posts put in. That was over half the work that we got done today. So um, tomorrow we're going to go through and we're going to start hanging up the wire and putting down clamps and stapling the wire to the wood posts. So I'll see you guys in the morning. Day two. Go to market 54. Great thing about farming, it doesn't really matter what anybody thinks. Put another one in that right behind this staple here. Okay, it's barb. As close as you can get to that, driving an angle if you have to. This barb will help hold it in place. Come on, Ailey. Come on, Ailey. We've got most of the fence put in now. We're working on the home stretch. We've got one more wire to string across, and then we've got to clamp them all to the T posts, and then we should be good. We just got to do a few more things like hanging a gate and checking the rest of the fence, make sure that's all good. And then we can put cattle out here. What are you guys doing, my 
flag fishing players? Maybe. I think they're sitting on the post over there, aren't they? What are you going to give me for them? Cough them up, Barbie. Looks pretty good. So now we've got all that fence made and we put six wires on it and it looks pretty good. Not the best job we've ever done, but uh, for holding in what we plan on holding in, it should do the trick pretty well. So anytime now we can go through and let out those bottle calves in the barn and get them out on some fresh grass. And I'm not exactly sure what the plan is this fall, but we were discussing this fall, if not sometime in the future, over the winter we could put dad's breeding cattle here at the main farm because then we'd know where they're at we wouldn't have to worry about them over the winter and we could keep an eye on them that way so uh yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video be sure to check out all of our other ones be sure to like comment and subscribe be sure to check us out on facebook instagram twitter and snapchat all how farms work so i'll see you next time guys